As any regular viewer of Beat the Press knows, it's a rough time to be in the media. With a broken business model, lousy job prospects, and public antipathy, you'd think only the most retrograde masochist <laughs> would be drawn to the profession. Well, a new survey suggests there might actually be some truth to that. Journalists are miserable, liberal, overeducated, and underpaid. Ouch! That was The Atlantic's takeaway from this recent industry survey by two Indiana University professors. First, the obvious. The number of working journalists continue to shrink, and they make a yearly mediocre income of $53,000, less for women. No surprise, then, job satisfaction is at its lowest in 40 years. You know there's a liberal bias. You, you, you. Oh, come on. Maybe, but half of journalists today identify as political independents. Still, among the third that are party registered, the vast majority are Democrats. Prince William and Harry. And for all the pretty young faces on TV, you might be surprised that most journalists are still middle-aged men, although less so than in the past. But there's an even bigger surprise. I wouldn't quote you even as an anonymous source. Put aside the popular image of the unscrupulous scalawag. Fewer journalists today support questionable tactics to get a story. So higher morals and lower pay. I wonder if there's a moral to that story. Now, I have to say, I don't lament the past. I, I think that well, journalism has progressed so dramatically. And I really wonder about this survey, whether it tapped into people who work for the Huffington Post or social media, all these thousands. And when, when we were all, not you, but when we were all growing <laughs> up, there was only three sources of, you know, broadcast news, a couple of newspapers, you know, na national and, and your local home. But now there are hundreds of thousands. And I think people are really jazzed about the business in some quarters. I mean, the traditional places have definitely taken a hit, and, and, and I know there's low morale in a lot of them, but I wonder if you can generalize about this. This seemed like a survey of people who work for newspapers. Yeah. It did not seem like it took in uh, the full array of all of the new projects going on out there. Although I have to say, as excited as we all are about a lot of these new projects, they don't employ an awful lot no. of people. And they don't pay anything. Uh, and, and they don't pay much <laughs> either. He pays pretty well. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, I mean, it, it's, it, there's, there's no question that this re reflects a certain mindset. The, the thing that really opened my eyes, you go back to the 70s, and overwhelmingly, college and university journalism programs were women. And at some point, they disappear. And we still see that mm -hmm. today. You know, I think one of the things, if you're old enough, and I certainly am, to remember the, the newspapers in their heyday before the internet came in and changed everything, one of the big differences was you could actually go to things and have time to report on them. You know, when Mother Teresa died, we would send reporters and photographers over there. When Princess Diana died, yeah. you know, I went to England. It was, it was, it was not fun because it was a sad thing, but it was a fascinating the budgets are gone so so a business which is never paid very well newspapers never ever no. paid very well you couldn't make any money working at newspapers but it was a great job i think what's happened in many in many newsrooms and i don't know about buzzfeed or the huffington post but you have to produce so fast and you yeah. don't have the time because there's fewer bodies and you don't have the resources to go out and do the kind of first-hand reporting you used to do and i think that's that's been discouraging to lots of people i know it certainly has been to me so I'm going to make just like the obvious joke, which is I don't I don't need a survey to tell me that I'm overeducated and underpaid. Like I don't. That's like what's next? Like a survey to find out if prison food tastes good? Like it's just such an obvious. Like no, thank you. Don't waste your money. I, I I'm aware, but um, you know the thing that I thought was actually you know because Callie's not here, so I'll yeah. I'll pick up the crown is that it was 92 percent white in the 70s and 92 percent white today, and I thought that was the weirdest thing yeah. to come out of. It's that. actually How gone can down. That still be the yeah. case that. We're so lacking in diversity. In well, it's getting, white, it's getting whiter and older because yeah. who's getting laid off? It's the younger people. Is that true? I feel like all the older journalists tell me yeah, they're getting I don't laid know off. About that, Dan. Yeah. Everybody's getting laid off. That's true. <laughs> Yeah, that also struck me that there's been no progress in uh, uh, getting more journalists of color, and I'd like to hear more about exactly why that is, because certainly the, uh, the awareness of that, and if we talk about it enough, uh, why isn't it happening? Uh, and I thought it was encouraging that uh, there's uh, more interest in ethical conduct. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think that's a building block for trying to restore the tattered reputation that mm -hmm. journalism in general has among the public, and that in turn may help 
uh, promote more people going into the profession and maybe even better pay down the road. But, uh, you know, it, I, I never expected to make big money uh, in this business. And in a way, I mean, e easy for me to say to somebody who, you know, is, is living in a roach motel because they can't <laughs> afford anything better. But I, I almost wonder if it isn't better uh, if journalists, for the most part, aren't in the one percent or anywhere close to it. Well, some of them that are. That maybe keeps you a little closer to the reality you're supposed what to be covering. What about the old saw, John, about being liberal? I mean, it's still true. It, it's it's been true in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I mean, it seems like it's leveled off a little bit, but. Newsrooms are still liberal. I don't know. You know, I guess so. I've mainly worked in TV and radio, and I haven't ever, I mean, I'm not exactly a flaming liberal, no. as you may have noticed, and I have never encountered anything approaching any kind of uh, feeling of being isolated or intimidated. I know some others have, and I know there are some newsrooms that are overrun one way or the other, but uh, uh, I, I haven't seen that much in broadcast journalism of that.